Hello everyone, I'm Pernuxus and today we are playing a game versus Rito and the template will be me nostalgia. So here we have our settings. Um, okay, so is it okay it's before trading? So we have we are playing according to the head rules. All of the rules will be used here. So first of all, we have Inferno vs Rampart as random towns. And now this one who will pay more will have the right to choose a city for him. So it is uh, something new for me to trade for towns. And I really enjoy this because it's like there's like no longer uh, there is no longer How is it called in English? It's ex excuse that excuse that okay you won because you had better town. Not really because you can just pay more to have this stronger town, or you can just start with additional gold if you want to go with um, with just extra gold and a bit weaker town. So we are trading. It was sort of hard to trade for me because I don't know how much towns are how valuable towns are. Rampart is great because you have Kura and logistics specialty. And of course it's pretty good uh, early game with uh, Grand Helps. Later you have unicorns, so you have pretty easily Yeah you can play this pretty easily. And you are strong at the beginning, and you need to know that you have to fall, fight uh, AIs. And Inferno, on the other hand, you have Magos, but then you have to wait until you have efforts. And you need to find demons if you want to use the Inferno Town. It's a lot more complicated. And even Inferno being played very well can be just weaker than medium rampart um, because it's it doesn't have enough time on the mini nostalgia template as you can see almost 4000 gold I have to pay Rito to be able to start with rampart and what's interesting also um, hmm. he will start also with this 4 thousand gold more so the difference between me and him is actually uh, eight thousand almost and of course I will be trading for color I wanted to start as a blue player to get a bit more of gold so it's really common that the player who will choose a city will go as blue uh, but this time as you will see in a moment it won't happen. It won't happen. Rito will uh, let me play as a red player and just start with even bigger disadvantage. I think it was 800 he agreed to. Yeah, so I'm, I start with really disadvantage. I start with, I think, 5,000 something. Yeah. Of course I will get a bit gold from the starting bonus. But like Rito starts with uh, 4,600 gold. So difference between me and him is around uh, 10,000 gold at the beginning. But I'm allowed to choose um, this town, which will be Rampart for me, of course, it, I think it's stronger. And he's playing with Inferno and with Blue. So now uh, we will choose uh, AI towns, and the rule for it is following uh, We have 8 more towns, and Blue player starts to pick a town for his AI. So Rito, as Blue player, will choose what kind of town will be for the purple player because 
Apple probably has native AI. And now just explaining how it's working. So it's pretty, pretty balanced now, I think, because when you go with random Mac, it's, and if you will just random, it's also, I, I mean, it's better to just pick. And it's more competitive because like you have more, you can just, you know, pick something. So you have like, chance to decide. So, First of all, he picked Dungeon for his AI, but he changed his pick. I mean, I'm okay, we are playing for fun games. Of course, we want to play with rules as good as possible, but there is no reason to not let him change. So, he wanted Tower AI because Tower is really strong and Hota. Uh, you can upgrade the Giants to Titans, and Mage Guild potentially can be useful. Maybe not that much because you can use Spells Cross without even Mage Guild. But most likely because of um, upgraded to Titans. Okay, so now I choose Dungeon for me. Uh, dungeon because you have, first of all, you have the Portal of Summoning, which can let you make a power stack easy. You have also Mana Vortex, which can really help you get, getting mana. Um, later he chose Fortress to be able to upgrade to Vivid Monarchs. I chose Castle because I can then upgrade to Arch Angels and also I will have access to Stables. And he chose Stronghold as the last one, maybe because uh, you, you are really fine with fighting stronghold i think maybe not so easy but it's i mean it's good because you can easily make behemoth level 7 creature when you will just capture stronghold and now i'm saying that i'm scared of, of conflux because every conflux hero starts with a spell book they will, ai will maybe do mage guild so like the magic arrow early on a versus AX is the most scary thing. So I could go for conflict because it's firebirds, it's a university, you can learn earth magic, air magic. Uh, but necro I think is better. There are a few reasons. First of all, fighting necro is one of the easiest ones because they are slow and don't have much. And later we are allowed to use vampires. Yeah, I, I'm looking at Cove, but with Cove there is nothing special. So Necro will let me make uh, use vampires because it's hotter. Okay, so this is our choices. Our fortress stronghold he wanted to choose, and at this point I can say, look, all of that towns, their native terrain is. Uh, something with penalty and all my terrain, Dungeon Castle Necro is no penalty like Grass, Deer, Subterrain versus Snow, uh, Swamp and Rough so first timer is 19 plus 8 plus 1, 15 uh, simultaneous turns until 1 to 5 it's all according to rules so we can see how like we have not much time here so I think I'm impossible. I'm, I, I can't just do commentary while playing. So that's the only way I can record something if you want to watch. And if I want to, of course, share this with you. Of course I want to, but only if this is like ent entertaining. So I, I'm looking what kind of heroes AI started with. Brawn and Tyraxor are strong. I see there are others. Uh, what is this called? The dwelling for my archers. This is the most important dwelling you can get. I, I just don't remember how shard codes. And it's protected by nothing. So I have pretty good map. Of course, this was Mystic. Wanted to go that way. I have also stables. I have lots of wood. Uh, roads are medium. 
and now just slowly pick up in stuff, normal playing. Uh, at this point I can say that I forgot, I started with 5k gold disadvantage, so instead of like going and getting this wood, I should just look where is gold and go for gold. Yeah, I think now I realize I have 350. Of course I want to make homes, homestead in town, there is no doubt, but if I will do that and if I now, uh, well, I mean if I will hire one more hero and won't get any gold with him, uh, then I can't do this building. So instead of it, just going with Kira. I want to buy more heroes, so we'll save my gold. And Kira with this setting should be fine fighting. I even won't go for stables now. And this is the hardest possible version, half of them are upgraded. The only point here is not to lose any wood elves because they will just destroy everything with this additional dwelling. They will just win the game for me. For sure, from that point, I'm not looking for a restart. I want this map to be played. They did 11 damage. Next turn I can block them with 1 stack of centaurs. So I feel pretty comfortable. I think I will not lose any shooters. Um, upgraded goes first. So he will attack. And then the not upgraded doesn't have anything to attack. Also, if this master growing will get morale, I could lose something, but I think they will attack centaurs, not wood elves. Now blocking the not upgraded one, so I can attack upgraded ones, and not upgraded one can attack only one stacks. I think I'm losing pretty many centaurs, no, only two of them. Uh, but the problem with me is, first, they are two hexes. Secondly, half of the gremlins were upgraded, so... Okay, now I see crypt, but I'm scared fighting maxi crypt. I think there are some patterns, but I'm not used to it. I'm used to churchyard, though. I'm checking, because I need gold so much. And this is minimum crypt, so this is perfect for me, and I think there will start my mistakes. I will lose some centaurs and Seri. Don't need that many to one stacks, of course. Okay, let me just check if this is working. Yeah, it's working pretty nicely. Okay, let's go. So, point is just to attack with big stack of centaurs. One stack just, I don't know what they are doing. I should have just... And he survived, nice. I should have just elves plus a big stack of centaur plus like one centaur. Because now I just it's just harder because I just need to run somewhere. Or maybe it wasn't that fight where I lost some units necessary. Maybe it was this one, this one though. I think it will be nice. I mean it will be now. Yeah, I waited, but they can reach me. I lost, I think, three centaurs without reason. I, I'm not sure why I wasn't focused, but it's, I mean, common for me. The beginning is not, oh, and Tazar as a potential main hero later. I mean, from the beginning he can be main. So I, I'm always looking for two main heroes. I mean, nostalgia template, it's okay. Two main heroes, it's good enough. Uh, Inham got some gold for me. Now I wanted to go after dungeon, so I prepared here, but I didn't count, I mean, I want to go for this learning stone, I want to go for arena, I want to go for um, stables, so Inham shouldn't prepare there, but it's okay, just a few steps. Now fighting centaurs, because I want this gold, sorry, gold from Cure Fest, plus experience worker, of course. It's obviously important to get any level, because then logistics is stronger, but also can, I can get logistics at higher level. Not only specialty, but just the secondary skill also. So now, I see that my power stack is centaur, obviously. 
grand elves, I mean wood elves, not to, to don't do enough damage. So now I wanted to fight with my centaurs and just block archers. Uh, unfortunately, my one stacks will move before my big stack. So yeah, I will lose some more centaurs once again. I don't rely on them as uh, damage dealers later, so it's okay. Uh, of course, it will be not bad. It will be better not losing eight. I could go for XP, but because I started with gold disadvantage, I want more money. Now I can f afford one more hero, which is Tazar, which is main hero. I see Coronius and Andal. Andal starts with slow. Coronius starts with solar. So I have slow spell right now. Okay, so. Tazar now getting a bonus. I now want to move my elves back to town so I can upgrade them. Uh, logistics preparing for fight next day. Of course, Tazar is also main, so uh, he also wants this experience uh, plus attack skills. Now, looking how much gold I can have, I want with Reland to pick up the water wheel and gold which is next to bone dragons. Now looking how much gold I need, how I can do it. I think I will just uh, yes wait here, buy them next day, go to the town and upgrade them. With this tons of gold and it's second day. Okay, so four heroes day one. I think it's okay because I started with really the gold disadvantage. And I want to go for this one more gold here, but it's from the other side. So I was counting this as my gold for this turn, but it didn't happen. But I see more gold on the road that way. That will solve my problems. 1000 here and 700 here. That's pretty lucky. Looking what kind of AIs could be there. Dirt, grass. It might be grass after... Uh, the lizards. Um, yeah, and income shouldn't go that way because I have some more things to do before going to the dungeon. Uh, for sure, and it doesn't have to be dungeon. It could be necro, but it's more. Uh, it's uh, yeah, almost sure it's dungeon. I'm feeling like it's dungeon at least. So now I want to upgrade them. Because firstly, the upgrade doesn't cost much. It's like, wow, I don't know, 50 gold per unit, not even 25 gold per unit. And they are twice as good. So now with 16 archers, I'm set. I want to have some more cannon folder at this point. There is no reason to not use them. But the dwarves, I don't see dwarves. So it's fine for Tazar because you will get this learning stone and arena also and logistics. The most scary with Tazar is because he can get something crappy. Uh, but he didn't. So he's my main hero for sure. Second main. So Kira and Tazar both with logistics. Now I decided I value, value more. Icon stun archers? I'm, I'm not sure what I'm doing, just normal fight, look at these archers. They can just one-shot everything. I should have just attacked because anyway, if they will get morale, they can reach me. But, doesn't matter. Look how much easier it is now when I got my Grand Elves. Now, Kira didn't visit stables, I want to do that, of course. And Tazar visited stables, so my heroes are pretty quick. And they do a lot on map. So now I can go and fight goblins and get a treasure chest and also be on the way to make churchyard. And now we're recording this, it's like maybe five, three days after I finished my churchyard tutorial. Of, co of course, it's so messed up for you, like for to watch because I played many games. I mean, many games before, I don't know even when this thing will be published. I don't know, maybe 
December. I have no idea. I have so many games to upload before that one. Um, but obviously I'm not fair to fight Churchyards. And when I'm playing this, it's... Um, it's... How... It's like the end of August, I would say. Okay, so checking how big this is, pick up in gold, making her a quick. Let's make her, her, him, I think her, quick. Um, I could now go and check the spell, but I think I have all spells I want to have. I can just come closer. I think that's come closer. So now a lot of XP from Churchyard and from a crewmate. Our game is going pretty well. Tazar also got his power-ups. I have nothing to do with my situation, no gold, nothing. So day number three. I think that uh, the post-game commentary is uh, way better because like there is a lot more action. I'm playing way faster. Check to this just because I think I will be blocked in a moment. It's just about uh, my experience about this template. And I was correct. I see uh, there is a block. And I guess this is Necro. I mean, it could be, could be Dungeon and Necro um, in the subterrain. Now I want to hire both heroes, so I will immediately get a uh, slow to the hero with scholar. So firstly, I will do fighting, get my money, and then hire them. Because there is a lot more things to be explored um, behind the town. And this is of course not the uh, area where Tazar will be going. So I need to send someone who is not important here. Now this formation, I mean... Just two hexes units always cost me some problems. So I'm not sure how I should position this. I think this is the best setting with that, as I can protect my archers, grand elves, centaurs, or uh, pikemen, and one sex, of course, may die. So grand elves just doing its job. I have also archery on here, so it's making a bit more easy. Yeah, they do a bit more damage. And level 4 water. I don't know what's going on with this girl, but she always gets water. Not only level 4, it will be later, level 8, 12, I don't know. It's like this girl, or man, is programmed to get water every time. And if she will get anything else, it's like, wow, game bugged. I, I, I'm serious now. Getting anything else than water, it's like Octamp. Ah, and now I'm saying that I got water, of course. Rito thinks that uh, there's a water path on this map, of course it's not. And now it's where I can use my advantage by knowing how to fight churches. I check my mor morale. I could even do it with dwarves, of course. But I could even do it with one less pikeman. But I'm not so sure about these tactics. Not yet. So one extra will just make it easier for me. I have for sure enough damage. Just need to be able to kill every stack when shooting him twice. So it was one time, of course, for the um, top one. Okay, and standard, standard fight with Churchard. I won't skip it. I mean, I won't skip it to... I will think... I don't know. Should I skip fights now? Because I am able to. I'm not able when duly doing um, in game commenter, but with post game commenter, I am, a I am able to. So just luring, walking that back, nothing crazy. One of the easiest ways to clear church shots. I can lure this 20 back while I can shoot twice this, this upper one. So I will just kill more, or just this works also. Kill as many as possible as soon as possible. So then there's less of them trying to catch you. So you can just fight this faster. Because uh, timer is also like 
a resource when you don't have a lot of time you need to really not waste it so i didn't keep this fight i mean i'm playing pretty quickly animations are fast so let's go water magic level 5 what the fuck i i have no idea but i got money and i got plus 4 attack skill i think this is the best artifact you can get maybe minus morale will be better i love like when creatures can't get morale but plus attack skill is just ridiculous it's just wow it's uh, awesome now Kira goes after this ai So preparing Kira as income doesn't have a lot more movement to follow her anymore. Now at this point I can hire these two heroes, so I can get easy mass, I mean slow, just slow. And I see also Ivor, who is a good hero. I mean, he is this, one of these rampart heroes with water always, but I see Crypt. I want to scout. Yeah, now, now there is not much I can uh, do with my cult. Like this third shard and treasure chest that solved my cult problems. I want to do dendroids and I want to hire these remaining guys. I think I can just hire centaurs because I'm going after AI, so as much army as possible. I think I just miscalculated how much cult I have. I should just buy dwarves, uh, not dwarves, but the dendroids. And not all centaurs, but more androids. So now I want to also do something with my second main hero, who is Tazar. I will see in a moment what he will be doing. First of all, of course, Coronius may be used to just bring reinforcements. I don't remember what I decided to do. Uh, do I value? The dwarves more, okay, looks like I do. They are a good meat. So I want to visit tables with everybody. And now check this because it's the same way. Now even Inham knows slow. And it wasn't intentional, but it worked. I'm making chain on the road, so the chain costs me a bit less movement and anyway income goes that way every step uh my i mean matters now look how strong i am i can auto combat it uh marksman yeah i i, I wish this, i wish i they, they will run away but they killed like two archers so that's fine yeah Orito is like complaining about Magox and Hota. I think they are fine, really nice creatures. Now I want to just push forward. I see there's observatory, so from there I can have a lot of information which way I have to go later, where it's down. I think now my archers will kinda suffer, but everything else is protected, so it's okay. If they run away, I think I could have accepted. Now I'm not sure if this is... I mean, if I will get more movement with the rally flag or not. So I'll just don't use it. I could go with Kere. And check this. Uh, no, no, I can't. I can't. I'm one step short. Yeah, I'm one step short. So instead of it, I'm going forward. I see one more charge chart I can easily clear. So that's a lot of gold. And I'm really... What, what I will do with Tazar? I don't remember. Yeah, I may just prepare him here, but... Uh, my chain might not go that way. It's not... So, I mean, it's not sure. Yeah, 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 this is not sure. My chain will go that way. It's risky. Because it, it, yeah, it's really risky that I'm able to train my army to Tazar. So, I see there is a, a main guard, Mega Queens, to the area between me and Rito. I scouted a bit more to know what's 
around it and our father didn't have much to do just now. I mean, one, one, at the beginning it's hard to play with two heroes as main. I want to explore more. I see there are, there is Necro AI because this is the uh, mausoleum for riches. And now I see dungeons, dungeon heroes going around, they four. Okay, uh, starting hero was Damakon, so he, this is the strongest hero of this AI. I want to kill him, for sure. Uh, he stole my jewel chest. Uh, but I think I'm okay with money, anyway. Now I just need to um, kill him. And don't waste any kind of movement points on the killer, of course. Don't want to move killer back. It's pointless. Even, I mean, it's... It might be even better to fight this AI hero with anyone else who does have a spellbook because, like, fighting with Pyrrha, what can I get from that? I think, like, getting, having some spells like Magic Arrows or Slow, but even better than just, yeah, better than having Pyrrha. So now just pick up resources. And scouting. I see there's a lot of free gold, that's very good. And with these two heroes, I can manage to kill this AI's hero and make my way back. I don't know if that matters which one, Coronius or Ingham, will be fighting, but I think I will choose Coronius. I think Coronius might be a slightly better because he has this. Um, Wisdom plus Solar, so it's nice to level up him because later we can just um, get spells easily. Now calculating movement because I need to step on this um, I don't know tower. He fled but killed too many centaurs, way too many. Now I don't want to lose any archers, I mean any grantels, and I want to save as many as possible of centaurs. So cures, beholders, and shoot him. He attacked my grand elf, unfortunately. One more time he will do that, and he's dead. I mean, one grand elf is dead. Okay, preparing. Rita is talking about his AI. I had a game when uh, my AI didn't move even a single like bit, uh, but it was because I was really close to him. Like in first day, I just moved almost to his town, so he was scared. Even though I didn't see him, he just was scared and just bought one more hero, and he was staying in town with everything he got. Yeah, so we have the stock. I think it. Yeah, I lost one grand health, unfortunately. But I think I will do, even though, a way better than auto combat because, like, losing many centaurs is uh, also not good. Like, 30 centaurs or one grand health? It's really to pick one of this. <laughs> now I will just make Harpy stay. Use of this one archer. I can kill them finally. I could have gotten this luck here. I can shoot him before he will, he will move. I can slow harpies. I think I'll, he will retreat now. Will he? He will now be speed 7 because I have one spell power. Yeah, he will retreat. So no losses to be honest. And that's good. I see now it's down here, and look, this is this rich area of dungeon. One, two, three, four hives. There's also cyclopses with golden bow, with what for the um, granted power stack and cyclops maybe. That's great. Uh, there is a ground topia, but protected with efforts, kinda hard. This is nice artifact, I'll go and get it. And this is a hero. There is some more gold, some more resources. He had three turns on, in his area, so he picked up something, but there is uh, yeah, there is still something else that I can get. 
So now Kira gets army back. Kira didn't move even a single bit. So it didn't cost any movement. I think I should just prepare to fight Churchyard, so I should just have gotten the same army I had before. Um, speed 4, Pikeman, because he will be speed 4 here, it's enough. And speed 7, uh, Shooter, to bite them later, it's enough also. Speed 6 is a bit more risky. Um, if like Marksman will try to bite them here, it's a bit more risky. But if you play this correctly, uh, walking this will never catch you. But you need to be extra careful. At speed 7 is like, wow, I, I now have enough damage to even one shot 20 of them. <laughs> so, yeah, that's, that's easy. Maybe even without this extra strategy, but I mean, once it's working, let's just use it and be sure. So, I could just save Pikeman in that case or anything. This one walking that can just surrender while attacking the retaliation will kill him. Now I can just uh, yeah I can just bait one of him one of them back didn't need to but just want to also save timer and it's okay for me to lose like this one Python. Now I got wisdom or bad fighting. I don't see a area where it's a bad terrain so I will go with wisdom. And I see a ribcage, I got the second one from here. I'm not super happy with that because I will have the ribcage anyway. I mean, it's just for experience with gold. Okay, now moving back my forces. I'm at this point, I lost my castle units I started with. I can kill his hero. He fled, okay next level and now I can get his town doing this with Kira uh, I think it's okay town has been vanquished now I can just hire one more hero who will clear the skeletons and area around it I'm not uh, yeah I'm not ready to do to do all of those hives and just I mean that storm build can be difficult but it was a good pace killing this AI now. Good tempo or whatever you want to call that. I see there is there is sword plus two plus two, but I have my plus four attack skill already. I don't need that one. And obviously, you, I will go for plus four attack skill instead of plus two attack skill and two defense almost in every situation. And I tr I have chosen this hero with uh, once again scholar plus. Wisdom, because I find out it. I think it's more important. I mean, it's more useful, isn't it? Just having spell book and later will have slow at least on basic level. I mean, it's okay. So now I want to get this artifact to gain mana. It's for me. It's like I love this artifact. Maybe it's not that value, but like, like for me it is. Okay. So I could just have a look, but I don't think there's a reason for me. Just clear the skeletons, we'll get this artifact and some resources. And now we're going back. Don't want to do any poor man's stone portals at this point. So now I know my army is going back from that area. I will probably look how my chain looks. Looking what AI built it for me. They build it Town Hall and Evil Eyes and I don't remember what else. Because they had three turns, obviously. Okay, so now I don't have enough crystals to do my Pegasi. And it will be hard to get crystals, trust me. That was troll generation in terms of crystals and gems, or I was just blind. And there is one crystal behind this uh, hobgoblins, of course, but you will see later. It will be a problematic situation for me. So now looking at chain, 
my army will go from here to Reland. So that means yeah, I have heroes, so even Kira can go that way. So that means Reland can get uh, army. I want to s wait on the road, pick up in Sulfur, and now Tazar can just pro prepare himself, um, go for another AI, go and fight another AI. I could get Arena first or go that way just. But I think I want to go after Necro, firstly. And end up my turn. So day 5. I think it will be the last day in this episode. I have the same amount of towns. 3-3-1-1 three, three, one, one car. I have a way stronger Kere. She's around 10-10. Ten, ten. Maybe 8-8. Eight, eight. I have a Griffin Conservatory. Nice. Kinda of far to go there, but it's it's good to have it. Okay, now going that way. I will be checking seals. I think they are value. I mean, they are value, and you will see that even in this generation it was useful to check it. Okay, so now look at what I will do. That will be crazy. You know one of the reasons I took Dungeon as the first town for AI? Do you remember the reasons? Ah, uh, yeah. Do you remember reasons? This is one of the reasons. It costs a lot, but it just pay off immediately. Looking what I want to buy, Unicorns will be extremely hard to do, but I'm okay with having a shooting power stack. Of course, later for heights it will be hard, but like, it's like, wow. <laughs> I, I have no words to describe how many archers I have now. I have like double amount of the, yeah, I have like double amount of the archers you will have normally. I doubled the average. So, I want to now pick up this gold. I think I will have enough movement if I will do that. Um, transferring because I don't use road while moving. Yeah, we are just talking about the game. It's like for fun, so it's not a problem to to say some details. Now look how clear, how how fast how quick. Fast clear as like it's ridiculous. Okay, now income. I think like using this road will let me get gold. So I use income's movement to give army to clear. I think it's a small mistake uh, because I won't reach this pile of gold now. I will be one step short. It's 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 weird, but it is as it is. Can't go better that way. Okay, so I'm going here, and now I can fight something. Of course, don't flag troglodytes. I want to be, I want to have elves flagged only, uh, to always get elves from dungeon portal of summoning. So now I have a bit more movement with Kure, so I can just clear something, and the something will be obviously um, nymphs. Now I'm just looking how far I need to move. I can just get this movement bonus again because um, Coronus was this one who was fighting. Oh, even like that. Okay. Oh, I think there is a reason for it. Here I will go to town because she wants to get spellbook. I think now I will do hate cube. So just fighting for Coronus to get called. I'm just making sure I can. Yeah. Nothing crazy in these battles, as I can like one shot everything almost with my shooting units. They even. Yeah, they had enough. I wanted to like move centaurs down here, so the stack which will attack centaurs will not have enough to reach me, but they had. And now this happened, but I know there's only three of them, so they can't kill anything. Okay, now getting gold, nice.
I can't uh, kill hobgoblins and return. And uh, one more step for on you, so the transferring will be on the best possible. Um, I mean, I don't know how to call that, but just the best possible. I have enough movement, just enough to pick up this gold then. Small things matter, they always repeat. So now I can reach down, it was the idea, I can just get this plus defense. I see, of course, there's a uh, behind, how they are called? Halflings, there, there is a golem factory. How is this called? Experimental shop, yeah. So this is where you fight golems and get giants. Of course, I see that. I can I can clear minimum, I think. Uh, but it's like 10% chance and I have a, a way more things to do before it. Now, which one is better? <laughs> going on road or just going straight like, like that? Now counting, because like, one time counted, later just, just repeat it. So this was better, okay. Now I can upgrade them, I want to have Mage Guild of course. I want to buy Spellbook and now I can afford, I got, I got slow, haste, Magic Arrow. Pretty good. I can get one more Dwarf, now two of them, uh, it's not Dwarf, one more, how they are called, Dendroids. So I will now use them because there's no much pikemen, not much pikemen, and I can start going that way. And Kira will go for the third AI. Firstly, Tazar will clear one, and then Kira will prepare to kill the last one. So Kira's as value. Uh, yeah, I will just give Wood Elf, I mean Grand Elf, to have the quickest possible Kira or not. And it's only one speed difference. Okay, center. I want more shooters so I can have less losses versus AIs. I hope they won't fight me, but if they will, yeah, that's good. I was prepared. Now I can do chain to Tazar. I could like fight aims, do chain to Tazar. And like fighting teams will let me now then go that way because it's blocked, this path is blocked. But I have not enough movement with Raylands to return to Tazar, so just giving army now. Tazar getting experience from dwarfs. That's a lot of XP. Tazar is mine. Let's do it. I think I kinda misplaced my formation. I mean two hexes units are just I just hate it. Uh, the parts are not quick enough though. Yeah, they will survive. Just make formation. I am quicker than dwarves, I can just attack and then return. I was waiting, I can shoot twice. Only one more stack remaining. I will try to bite him here. Yes, it worked. Dwarves can just tank or they can just die if it's necessary. They of course won't die. Easy experience, expert armor and plus one attack skill. Okay, so my movement is as important as I will even pick this up now, so it costs a bit less movement. Maybe it's a mistake because I will lose like this five seconds. Killing up goblins, killing everything here. I'm um, zombies, nice XP. Now, let's do the good formation. Yeah, now it's working. Okay. Killing zombies. They won't get morale, so I can just go somewhere. Oh, they don't have to. Grant helps, like, doing its job. Don't want to challenge these guys, because they can have upgraded guy and then I will lose some archers, don't need to. They go, they they don't they don't give experience, so just fuck them. And now it will not work because the androids are not quick enough because it's not grass terrain anymore. And of course I can move Pikmin one more time because it's how it's working basically. So nothing big. I mean almost a mistake. It will cost me some army, but I was lucky, kinda. So I have crypt, 
it's called I have learning stone, it's experience. I have Cyclops guarded by the dendroids, it's easy. I'm really close to get level. I think I will not, I will refuse. Um, because I want to get down. Maybe I'm lucky and maybe I have enough movement to get down. So step by step, I see town. Town is here, let's get it. And you will see in a moment how much more movement I had. Reland going that way to make chain. Crystals, of course, needed for pregnancy. And now how much movement I had? How much more movement? I have town hall, a mage guild, marketplace and vampires build it from this town. This AI was really like cool. So I have no more movement with Tazar, but I should have done it buying a spellbook of course. Is this the end? No, it's day 6 even, wow. Okay. I counted it and it will be around one hour episode anyway, but just thought it will be 5 days, not 6. I mean, I'm playing a lot faster now, so a um, lot more action. So now I should buy a spellbook because there's Magic and Taza doesn't have spellbook. I want the dwarves to be like defending town, I don't need them or just pikemen because dwarves are the same alignment, better morale. I mean, I don't know. Dwarves are a, a bit uh, slower than pikemen, but okay, so killing them. Ah, uh, oh, I have Earth Magic, oh, I have Spell Scrolls, oh, I don't have Spell Book. Wait a moment. But I'm checking, oh, of course, I don't want to flood this graveyard. Yeah, there is a Mage Guild, pretty good one also. Shield, Stone Skin, Slow, Magic Arrow. Okay, so I lost a bit of movement because of forgetting. And now, Glorious Victory losing 5. Centers don't want leadership, which is great because I want to get a uh, mass earth. So now I can collect this plus XP, make crypt, and make chain. If I'm lucky enough with my movement, first I can just move these people and get some resources. Ah, uh, look what's there, nothing. Ah, uh, two treasure chests, one, one more later. That's a lot of gold. I think that's better, I mean that means it's better just go after AIs as soon as possible and get their towns, areas, because there is like so much free gold. I think this is better than just staying in your area and farming something that you have. So this guy also doesn't have much, of course. Yeah, I'm looking where is, uh, where is my opponent, Rito, but he probably starts in the underground, I don't see anywhere lava. I can have this two seers checked. Nice. And going now that way. I can go here. Um, factory or just trading post is nice. But I need my army here in that area to clear it. So more XP. Now crypt. It's dirt terrain. And this will cost me in a second losing some army. Because normally whites cannot reach me. And now I see Grunters have enough damage to kill 5 vampires in first turn. They go first. So easy. Let's do it. So killing them and ooh, I lost one because they have a speed advantage because it's their terrain. Yeah, kind of unfortunate. Uh, she survived with 6 health, okay. I think I would even lose one more because I'm kinda dumb. I mean, am I? I need to run. I can't attack. I mean, I cannot just block with one more dive. Am I pissed? Like, losing two of them, it always hurts. I think I will even lose some centaurs, like one centaur, with no reason. So this crypt could be made without any losses, it's possible. Any losses, maybe one centaur, but definitely not two grunters. I mean, maybe it doesn't matter, 
later on anyway, but just keep making these mistakes and you will not be the best player. The best player will not lose this. So now, I can't go really far. Mm, I could hire someone to make my chain better. Or I could just... I, I don't remember. I could just go and start with Nila. Like, oh, uh, but, uh, but if I go that way, I'll get stables, so it's nice. Yeah, I, oh, I wanted to read this so much with this new hero from Tavern. So I can just make chain up to Reland without any problems. Oh, I don't have enough them, uh, enough movement though. It's okay. So now Reland. I want this Torch of Legion kinda because it will increase the amount of vampires I will have by three vampires. It's a lot. I mean, three vampires, what is that, yeah? It's it's really like seven vampires or four vampires or six, like... Yeah, I, it's so important. Because I picked Necrom, because I wanted to use vampires and I wanted to uh, be able to fight this AI easily. So as you see, there was like no losses almost in this fight versus Necro AI. Like five centaurs, or does the other guy just retreat it, or something like that? Like it's awesome, we yes. have. Or just you know, no, he he lost. He just was killed by almost no losses. Okay, so now fighting hobgoblins because I want this artifact plus vampires so much. Okay, now the same situation, I want to slow these guys down so they can't reach me. I can just shoot them to death. Yeah, pretty good map. One of the best ones I ever had. Shoot them. Okay, if you want to do one step, yeah, shoot this. Dwarf, yeah. So I will get this artifact and my turn will still be fine. No, I oh I just cleared this so my next hero can just pick this up, but I need to move now so my chain will work. Okay, it was that way. I didn't remember how much movement Reland has. So now army on her and she's able to clear next AI. Horde of lizardments, man, what is that? I'm going to challenge them, but I'm uh, going to challenge imps and get additional attack skill. Now I have 11-10. And going to kill the last AI, the castle AI. And I lost two Grand Elves. I will have to... I want to avoid this. And look, <laughs> I can just avoid this by shooting them. I don't know what um, Auto Combat did here, but obviously something stupid. I'm quicker with Grand Elves, so I can just shoot him be before he can move. No, I can't. Oh, he has also speed uh, from the grass. Uh, but it's okay. Centaurs are here just to protect me as soon as as long as possible. So now going by the road, want to kill the last AI. Uh, it's my strongest setting. Uh, okay, yes. So don't, don't, not, I'm not afraid of going blindly there. With Kira. Now he already will, uh, will see my stats. And I have Kronius to move. I have two heroes in that area. I don't know if I want more. Yeah, I know I don't want to have more here. If I'll go inside the castle, the, the rampart town, I could have gotten unicorns, but I don't see any gems. So I'll just probably move Coronius closer to the action. Maybe not, I don't remember. i checking what I checked, what I didn't, what I can possibly do with Coronius, I don't know. I'm probably moving him more to that areas because this is where I have army, where I'm fighting, where I may need more uh, things. So I have a state. I I need a necromancy amplifier and upgraded uh, vampires. Uh, there I want mana vortex, but it's for later. Don't waste money now. So I need both crystals and gems for both 
unicorns and also vampires. Yeah, this is kind of difficult with these resources. Of course, only when upgraded, then vampires matters. So I think this will be the end. And... What? Uh, it was this turn, yeah? Next one? Okay, this is beginning, so... Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I uh, hope you like the post-game commentary, as there's a lot more action. Just playing faster. Maybe you don't like, because I'm not feeling the game right now, but I see this from the later perspective. But I can say more things. Uh, why just games played by itself? Ah, okay. I mean, I'm not able to record while playing, because not enough timer, not enough time um, on timer to do so, so it's the only possible way. Uh, okay. So that's it. Uh, goodbye. Have a nice day.